Hey everyone, so I was watching uh, this video made by Pink Freud and he was talking about Cisco Economy wanting to do an equal round and he said um, in the Reddit post, it's a simple formula to decide when to buy and when to force buy and when to full buy. And uh, I just wanted to make a few points saying that you can't really make a formula about CS Economy. It's way, there's too many variables that go into it and I'll talk about the variables, but it's something like this, buying with only 3,300 crap, like, that's not necessarily true. Like, there again, there's variables that go into it. Some of the variables, for example, would be, what's your opponent's economy like? If your opponents have SMGs, and you're on the terrorist side, you can do Galil armor buy, you can have, you know, three or four people with Galil armor, and you can afford like a smoke or a flash on a couple of them. One person does tech nine with a Molotov and a full nade set, or you can drop an AK to someone else. Um, the guy can run around with an AK and armor um, and drop the tech nine to the person who dropped the AK. Like there are different strategies that are even in the present meta and past metas, and even going back to source 1.6, you can do these sorts of buys if you know how the enemy team is gonna set up, what kind of buy they have, what kind of weapons they have, which you know from the previous round. Um, there's so many factors that go into this. So absolutely, you can buy with $3,300, not to mention other variables such as, um, if you're a terrorist, did you get a bomb plant? Um, can you get a bomb plant? If you're a counter-terrorist, you could do like a FAMAS armor buy and stack four people at a bomb site, have one person do a full save, and he can save for an op. And you just do a full save and you stack a bomb site and if the enemies come to you then they fall into your trap you could do that with uh just regular pistols as well you don't even need to buy anything you could just set up a stack so you don't need to just go buy a formula um so in the rest of the video he's talking about okay so you get fourteen hundred dollars uh for the first round loss an additional five hundred dollars on top of that, up to a maximum of $3,400, which caps out after five rounds in a row that you lose. If you win a round and then you lose, it resets back to that $1,400. Um, if you get a bomb plant as a terrorist, you get an additional $800 on top of that round loss bonus. So that's what he talks about in the rest of the video, which is pretty common knowledge. So all it comes down to is kind of counting what your opponent has, uh, counting their cash, finding out what kind of economy they're uh, they're rolling with. If they have $16,000, 10, let's say they have $8,000 or more, and they're counter-terrorists and they have incendiary grenades and grenades and smokes and flashes and everything, and they're doing these setups, force buying probably isn't going to do anything. Like You need utility to push them back. You can't do a rush strat because you'll run into fire, you'll run into nades. You need to bait out their equipment. The way that you can bait out their their utility and push them back safely is from having your own utility. You can't do that on a force buy with Tech 9 armor. It doesn't happen. If you're a um, counter terrorist and your opponents are terrorists and you're on a low buy, what you could do is you can uh, you can absolutely do a $3,300 buy. Like if you if you save at the $1,400 and you you force it up the following round where you have rifles on a force buy instead of pistols on a force buy, then you can stack a bomb site. If your opponents hit the other bomb site, you save your weapons, you use them in the next round, and then all you have to buy the following round is equipment, just grenades and a kit. That's it. And and then you can do whatever setup you want. And if you lose that round, you know, it you're in the same position as if you if you had saved like two, three rounds in a row. So there's other strategies that you can do, but this formula saying like you force buy instantly if you lose a round doesn't always work necessarily. It depends on how you're opponent's economy is, how they're setting up, um, what side you're on if you're terrorist or CT, because it changes based on that fact. If you're a terrorist, what you could try doing is you could try going for uh, a plant strat. So a plant strat would just be, instead of just force buying with your $1,400, you have two or three people buy smoke grenades and maybe a couple people buy a flashbang each. So you use maybe like four or $500 you know, per player and you just force a bomb plant. So you do your smoke execute, the smokes land on the bomb site, you try to get the bomb plant, which will give you $800 per player, um, and whatever money you get from kills, maybe you pick up guns and you just damage 
your opponent's economy, keep their economy a little bit lower so you're not too far away to separate it from their economy. And you go for a plant strat so that you can afford guns the next round. What if you get a plant on the pistol round? Like, are you supposed to buy the very next round if you're a terrorist? You lose pistol round, but you get the bomb plant? You don't necessarily have to do that. You could do you could do a force buy. You could drop two AKs, for example. That can work. You can do Tech Nine armor on like all of your players, or you could save one, try to do a plant strat, and get AKs the next round. You could save one, do a plant strat, and then um, instead of buying up AKs with your four thousand something dollars that following around, you can choose to do another save because you know if the if your opponents buy up SMGs, um, they might drop their SMGs to upgrade them for rifles anticipating you to do a buy on the third round instead of the fourth round and then you just save and you have a really big buffer zone where now instead of um, winning like uh, losing a round you force buy then you have to save then you do a full buy then you have to say like if you make enough of a buffer then you can afford to do two full buys in a row so sometimes just forcing and then uh, you know a f forcing around and then doing a a save and then a full buy and then where you drop to around sixteen hundred dollars I don't know how that works I don't know how many situations that you'll actually end up in that having that work out for you but you need to just understand that every situation needs to be handled differently and there's no real formula that you can use um, you just need to understand what your opponents doing what you're doing and you have to have a plan. The other thing is you have to understand how many rounds do you have to work with. If you have a huge round lead, for example, if you won CT side, uh, let's say 12-3, and your opponent just beat you at uh, on pistol round, and you still have an eight round lead, then there's no reason why you should keep forcing and forcing and forcing. Your, su your chances of success forcing a buy is not gonna be as high as if you have a full buy, okay? If your opponents are on a full buy, you want a full buy as well. If you have a round lead to play with, save up, get that economy, and maximize your chances of actually closing out the game by having proper equipment and proper grenades and proper guns so that you can close out the game. If you just keep forcing and forcing, what it's going to do is it's going to ruin your economy. You're not going to have any buildup of economy so that you're going to do this force buy, full save, keep around 1600, full buy, rinse repeat shit you need to just buffer up that cash flow so that you can do two full buys in a row and then you you do uh, a tech nine armor buy if you keep losing these consecutive rounds just tech nine armor that's it and then the next round you can do a full buy again where you can even afford ops so it comes down to the situation you just need to understand how many rounds you have to play with um, what your enemy's economy is what guns they have what kind of strategies that you can do. If you know that your opponent's playing a certain way or a certain style, then maybe using just pistols and a flashbang each can win you around. If if you're a terrorist, maybe if you're a CT side, you can just do a, a full stack and hope and try to beat your opponents into you. So economy it's not just about just force buying the first round that you lose, because that might end up costing you big time. And that's what you don't want to do. Don't fall into a formula. Formulas don't work for economy. Too many variables, too many individual situations that need individual attention. Do not follow a formula. It, it just doesn't work. Anyways, peace.